guys, will it survive this dumb Milwaukee drill off of my 45 foot windmill? Will it survive? I don't know. Let's get to it. Three, two, one. Down there, making all that racket. <coughs> Listen to it. It just laid down, and I just heard a boom, and then all that noise started turning on. Let's hurry up and get the thing. Nope, it knocked it off. Well, I tell you what, guys, there's a truck coming, so we gotta hurry up and get this down. Look at that. <laughs> Look at it. Look at that bullshit. Wow! Really loud! Wow! Okay, is that cool or what? How surprising. How shitty. It's still going! What in the world is up with this drill? Watch out! Run! It's on fire! Oh! It's on fire! Look at that! It's still running. I want some more. I want, want, want. And there you go. That's how you mess up a motor. And there's the brush housing. No. No, it's not the brush housing. Oh, yes it is. Actually, we did destroy it because, guys, got to plug it in. Look at that. Ah, it's hot. Really hot. All right, and that's it for the Kawasaki or Milwaukee Grill. Because the drill has died. I wish it wouldn't have worked when I fucking. And that drill is junk. Don't worry. So it's like 10 years old. So you don't need to worry about anything. Like, oh no, that was a perfectly good drill. The battery's too good. I could still sell that on eBay or something. If you guys want to. A, f a drill battery, a free, uh, no, a drill battery for cheap. Tell me, it still works. You can see the red light. It's just dead because it's been running. But I made the drill shut up, so. So that's it. See y'all later.